maths is all around us. It's almost impossible to think of something that's made without the help of mathematics. Buildings, transport, technology, medicine, even clothes and food all rely on numbers, measurements and sums. The metric system is a universal way to measure many different things. But how does it work? Meters, grams and liters, all units in the metric system of measurement used widely today in countries all over the world. It's also the standard in the science community and is crucial to global industry. But centuries ago, there were a huge number of strange systems of measurement, many based on random objects and sometimes differing from one city to the next. Until in France in 1670, mathematician Gabriel Mouton had a great idea to create a universal system of measurement. This international system of units, or metric system, defined meters for length, grams for weight and liters for volume as its basic units. To be as universal as possible, all the units were based upon standards in nature. For example, one meter measured one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator. As time passed, it became easier to measure accurately, and soon any laboratory with the right instruments could perfectly recreate metric standards. The units are very easy to work with, as metric values multiply or divide by 10, 100 or 1000. They are also named by using Latin prefixes. For instance, kilo is the basic unit multiplied by a thousand, while milli is the basic unit divided by the same. So a thousand meters is one kilometer, and one meter divided by 1000 is one millimeter. This makes working out sums simple. Move the decimal point to the right and the unit gets bigger. Move it to the left and it becomes smaller, adding zeros when needed. And the metric system's not just limited to weights and measurements. It also includes seconds for timing, amperes to measure electrical currents, and Kelvin for temperature. The metric system makes measuring easy for billions of people. It's also created standards used in maths, science and industry around the world. Thanks, Gabriel Mouton. <laughs>